By the end of this video, you're going to know about an all-in-one AI tool that allows you to replace hundreds of other tools because you could use this tool to access every single LLM that exists, to create videos, to create photos using any generation model, and to write or fix code or even launch an app or a website if you wanted to. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what that tool is and five different things that you could use it for. Now, the tool that I'm talking about is Abacus AI, because when you use this tool, you get access to literally features that would otherwise require hundreds of AI tools for you to be able to do. And I just want to go through a few of them really quickly. If we come over here, you'll be able to see that you can access literally every single LLM that exists. If you click on AI engineer right here, you could use this to build out custom chatbots or to create custom AI workflows, aka AI agents that actually automate your work 24 seven. If we click on deep agent right here, this is going to allow you to do tons of different things like build apps, create short videos, create AI apps, AI workflows. You could do deep research with this. If we come into more, you'll be able to see that you could build out PowerPoints. You could have this actually take over your browser and do things for you. You could have it do data analysis and so much more. And again, that doesn't end because if we click on code LLM, they have an AI code assistant editor that can literally fix your code or write code for you. If we click on tasks right here, you'll be able to see that you can actually automate tasks that Abacus will be able to do and you could switch between a normal task or a deep agent task over here and this can automatically connect to mcp it can automatically connect different apps together and so much more and all the different use cases that we're about to go through in this video are going to blow your mind and by the way, if you come over here and you click on this and then come into route LLM, you can also do a bunch of other crazy things. For example, you could click on image right here and you can literally access every single different image model that exists. You could choose a number of images. You could type a prompt in here. You could change the size to be a bunch of different sizes. You could change the quality. You could change the style and so much more. And it doesn't stop there because if you come over here and you click on more right here, guess what else you could do? You could do things like add lip sync. You can create documents, text to speech, speech to text. You can actually humanize stuff. For example, if you click on this right here, you could come over here and change the tone to be AI detector proof, professional and clear, or so much more. And then also, if we come back into more right here, you could have this do video analysis, scrape URLs, and so much more. The opportunities here are really going to blow your mind if you haven't seen this before. Or for some of you that have seen this before, it's probably going to blow your mind because there are so many things that you didn't know this could actually do that will begin to be useful. The first thing that I want to show off here is going to be this lip sync feature because this is pretty crazy. If we click on this right here, you are going to see that you can do some crazy things. So first and foremost, we come in here. The only model to use is Hedra. That's completely normal because this is by far the best model for this. Now, if we come over here, we can choose the audio source. For example, we could choose between a bunch of different voices here. We could put the script in here that we want to actually use for the video. We could provide different voice instructions for example if we want it to be a soft and friendly tone or maybe we want it to sound anxious or if we come over here we could upload an audio file if we have one for example if we have a recording and then we just want to put that over a talking head or something like that in addition to that you can have this actually create an avatar for you you could put an image in here to actually use as a character for the lip sync and if we come over here we could change the aspect ratio so we could have it be one one we could have it be 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 and we can also change the resolution right here here's an example of what this can actually do so i'm going to have this actually create an avatar for me we're going to come over here we need to choose a female voice right here i'm going to go with nova i'm going to give this a script right here which you can see right here we could give voice instructions i'm going to say use a soft and friendly tone and then we're going to come down here for the avatar creation i'm going to put a beautiful woman with green eyes if we wanted to we could put an image in here i'm not going to do that for the sake of this video and i'm going to do this in 9 by 16 we'll do this in 720 we're going to click on generate and then this is going to go through and actually generate this lip sync and again you could have uploaded a photo that actually is of yourself or is of a character that you're trying to portray and then this actually goes through does all the work and adds that in. Okay, so now that this is done, let's actually check this out. Hey, I'm not just a pretty face. I can talk too. Watch my lips. Banana, pineapple, 
supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. See? I even nailed the tricky words. Now that's crazy because again, we could take this and we can use this with an image of me, an image of somebody else, and we can actually control all of these different settings and add lip syncs on the stuff. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna get this to do is actually humanize writing. So you come in here, you click on humanize, we're gonna click on AI detector proof, and I'm gonna to prove to you that this actually works. So if we ask this to write something, it's gonna go ahead, it is going to write this, and then very simply, we could take this, we can copy it, we can come over to a website like gpt0.me, put it in here, have this do a scan, and look at the results that we got. This says that it is very highly confident that this text is entirely written by a human. It says 4% AI generated and it says 96% human. And something that I wanna show you is let's actually just go get ChatGPT to write something blankly without using this tool and let's see what the difference is. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna come down into ChatGPT. We're just gonna use ChatGPT 4.0 because we get access from here. I'm gonna open up a new window and I'm gonna ask this to do the same exact thing. Write an 800 word essay about the paradox theory. We're gonna come over here. We're then going to grab this right here and then we're going to come down here and this is going to finish up right here. Boom, we're gonna click copy, we're gonna click copy copy rendered response. We're going to come back into gpt0.me. We're going to paste this in here and then we're actually going to get rid of a few of the characters here so that it actually is within the character limit that we are able to use with this. One more sentence and then we're going to scan this right here. And what this is going to say might be drastically different than if we use that humanized feature. So we come over here and this says that this is 100% AI generated. It also says it is highly confident that this was AI generated. So literally just using that feature can take you from getting an AI generated response to one that's humanized that actually tricks tests like this. Now before I get into a few of the other things that you can use when you use Abacus AI, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pin comment below and get started with it today for only $10 a month. This is going to give you access to Deep Agent that allows you to build out videos, build out images, create apps, create websites. You're gonna get access to every single LLM and so many other features that I'm about to share with you. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pin comment below because it's an absolute no-brainer to start using this tool today. Now, if you code, this next feature is going to be incredibly useful. We could come in here and we can do a code improvement request. What you're then going to do is you're going to upload your code, ask it to debug it, and it will actually go through and spit out a full report on what to change. Check this out. So we literally just come over here, we copy this code, we ask it to debug it right here, put the file in here, and then this goes through and actually finds all of the different issues with the code, and it could begin to actually go through and fix all of these different things. So we could see there were a bunch of errors here, and now this goes through and actually rewrites the code for us. And then once you're actually done, you could actually read through it and see that this found five different issues. There were indentation errors, there were logic errors, there were performance issues, there were error handling errors, and there was a code organization error. This went through, it debugged, and it improved it. You could read through it. If you agree that the changes that it says you wanna actually make, you literally just click on insert right here, and this will actually insert this into the code, and boom, you literally just had AI go through and debug this. In the past, this would have taken an incredibly long period of time, but now this is something that we as humans don't have to waste time on anymore because AI can handle most of this stuff for us. Now, the next set of features that I wanted to show off here is the ability to access so many different models when it comes to image generation and video generation because this is pretty mind-blowing to me, especially since it's kind of a pain to actually go through and try to find all these. So if we come over here and we click on video generation right here, you're gonna be able to see that you can choose from so many different models. You can use VO3, you can use Kling AI V, 2.1, 1.6, B2. There are so many different things that you can actually use here. And this is only going to continue to get better and better because the Abacus AI team is incredibly diligent about coming in here and updating things whenever something has changed. And you could see that you can access a bunch of different models. You could add in a start frame right here. You could give this a prompt. You could come in here and actually give this the ability to modify the input prompt for improved video generation results. You could choose the mode that this is going to be on and you could choose how long the video is actually going to be. 
And what I really like about this is it makes it incredibly easy for you to be able to come over here, choose a bunch of different models and see which one you actually think is best, which is a question that I get all the time when it comes to video generation or image generation. And the reality just comes down to it depends on what you actually want to do. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type in a prompt right here that says to create a sleek sports car racing along a winding coastal highway at sunrise, golden light reflecting off of its surface with dramatic waves crashing against the cliffs below and seagulls soaring overhead. So we could come over here, we could change all of these different things, like the duration, we could add in a negative prop, we could change the aspect ratio, and so much more. We could come over here and click on generate. Now this is going to go through and actually begin to build this out. Now while it's doing that, I'm gonna come over here and I am actually going to open up a new window we're gonna come back over to Route LM, and I'm gonna show you the same exact thing when it comes to images. So we're gonna come in here, and we are going to be able to grab where it says image right here. And we could see, we could change this between a bunch of different models. For example, GPT image with edit, we could have it use image N4, we could have it use mid journey, so many different things. And if we click on mid journey, what you're gonna notice is there are a bunch of different versions, different prompts, you can change the different aspect ratios, you could actually come in here and change the process mode. And if we come over here and change this to something like image N4, you're gonna notice that all of these different settings actually change here. So I'm going to give this the same exact prompt. I'm gonna come over here and have this create two. We'll use a one, one aspect ratio. I'm gonna click on generate. And then this is going to go ahead and this is actually going to go through and begin to create this and again. We're able to access all these different models from one window without having to switch tools. You can see that they actually bring in the settings from each tool. So look at this right here. This went through and actually created two different photos and it made it from two different images and they both have exactly what the prompt that I wanted actually had. So if we come back over here, we'll see that this video is still generating. So video generation does take a little bit longer than image generation, but once this is done, I think you're gonna be impressed with it. Okay, so now that this video is actually done, let's go ahead and actually check this out. We're gonna put this on full screen right here. We're gonna come in and we're gonna play this. We have this sleek sports car driving down a winding road. We've got waves crashing in the background. We've got the sunlight reflecting off of it. And we had seagulls flying above exactly like I asked for in that prompt. And again, this might not be the best video that we could have created because we could have used tons of other models, but you'll actually be able to go through and be able to test each of those things in order to figure out which model you think is best for exactly what you're trying to accomplish. And that's really the beauty of Abacus AI, that you get access to all these different features to be able to do so many different things all from one interface as opposed to having to pay for dozens or even hundreds of different tools in order to do all these things. Now the last and final feature that I wanted to show off is actually something that we've been using this entire time. And that's the fact that we can come over into route LOM right here. And what this actually does is it is going to route us to the best LOM for whatever prompt that we actually give this. It is instantly going to determine exactly what prompt should be used because for certain tasks, some prompts are better than others. And by the way, if you come into AI engineer and you actually build out some custom bots, for example, I built out some of these AI powered workflows right here, you'll see that they now show up within all your LLMs. So we have access to 22 LLMs from all the different providers like Perplexity, like ChatGPT, like Llama, like Quen, like Grok, DeepSeek, and literally every other one that you could think of. And I also have access to my custom bots and I can come in here and edit them if I wanted to. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you a brand new AI tool that makes it incredibly easy for you to be able to make money with AI no matter what skills you have. I'll see you over there.